This is the Shark Tank, where hopeful entrepreneurs come seeking an investment from the sharks. Five powerful self-made investors worth billions. Hello, sharks! Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. How's it going, sharks? My name's Zach Trahan, previous inventor of the Shake and Wake, the human shock collar, and today I'm asking for $500,000 in exchange for a 15% share in my company, The Game Train. <laughs> Now, Sharks, I can tell just by looking at you, your three incredibly muscular and, quite frankly, perfect bodies, that you've never had trouble building muscle at the gym. No, never. But Not me. But I bet you have struggled with eating enough calories to put that muscle on during your bulking phase. Oh, he's well, on How does he know? How does he know? <laughs> this guy's good. That's where the gain train comes in. See, you could spend hours and hours eating more and more food and trying to, oh. But I don't know about you, Instead of eating chicken legs, I'd rather be skipping legs. So, <laughs> here at the Gain Train, we investigated and found the ancient Japanese technology of kaiten, kaiten, kaiten sushi, otherwise known as sushi train. And we <laughs> what? Why was there an Australian accent for the first word and a Japanese accent for the English word? So we took the concept of a moving conveyor belt system, but we threw out the sushi. Right. No, instead, the game train will only deliver high calorie, protein rich foods from your fridge throughout your entire house, <laughs> wherever you need it, so you can get the gains you need. But you've heard enough about the gain train. How about a little demonstration? Yes. Yeah. That goes to the gym one time. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the gain train, dude. Now, I don't have enough money to build a prototype. That's why I need you sharks. So today, I'm going to be the prototype of the gain train. What? Oh man, the fridge is so far away. I wish I didn't have to move. Oh, I can go for something from the cupboard. I, I can't, I, I really feel so, like tuna. If only there was tuna nearby. As I move past, feel free to grab a protein snack last. for I yourself. Ooh, that. have a look. Oh, don't, I hate tuna. Is this all that's <laughs> left? Oh, it's tuna. <laughs> what did you get? I got a protein bar. I got oh, barbecue crust. Salt and caramel. <laughs> now sharks, right now you might be thinking, what happens to any food that's left on the train that you don't eat off the game train. Oh, you could that. just you might think you can just not eat the food on the game train. Well, it falls on the floor. You see, any uneaten food that gets to the end of the game train will fall into a disgusting pile of food scraps on the ground. So now you gotta think to yourself, do I wanna force down that last bowl of porridge? Or do I wanna be cleaning porridge out of my carpet? And nine times out of ten, you'll be eating the bowl of porridge to avoid making that mess. Right. Well, it's we left solution. two tunas for you, Jordan, and you only had one. Can I chuck this on the floor? Uh, nine out of ten times, I want tuna on the Jordan, floor. Jordan, that's why you are the scrawniest, skinniest little chicken man of the three sharks. Yeah, <laughs> chicken boy. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> but sharks, with your help, we're looking at expanding into other conveyor belt delivery systems, such as... The shame train. <laughs> now this is for people who want to lose weight. It delivers unhealthy junk food all around the house. It might be pretty, pretty tempting, but if you're tempted to eat it, it's dog shit. There's, there's dog shit in the food, so now you're eating dog shit. And you'd probably be pretty ashamed of yourself and you won't eat the junk food anymore. Will yes. they be tempted knowing it's dog shit? No, 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 it's a... You don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You don't, <laughs> How do you you don't know this I reckon one, without one, knowing. One in five chance of dog shit. Also okay, different have products. different products. So you the deliver... drain train. Okay. <laughs> What's now, going on? It's pissed. To cut down on oh. bathroom breaks, <laughs> you want to be draining your bladder and then placing it on the conveyor belt to deliver back to your bathroom. Mm. So now that you what? shit. <laughs> um. So now that you've seen that how the game train works, sharks, I, who's ready to pump some money into my bank account? Yeah. Um, so you can't really have fresh food going around because it will never be in the fridge and it'll go off. No, Jordan, it goes from the fridge straight through the house. The entire game train loop probably takes about 15 minutes. And oh. if you miss it, it's on the floor. Yeah, Remember so if I that. buy a chicken breast and pop that in my fridge, not cooked, what's the go? 
Um, Does that end up on the floor or do I have to eat well, raw chicken? Well, for an additional $500, you can get the refrigerator or the oven gain train, which cooks it as it moves around Whoa. your house. Now we're talking. This is okay, what we're okay. talking about. Multiple <laughs> railway lines, and that's another way to increase profits. Yeah, I, I was going to ask about meal prep. The hardest part is not the uh, going to the fridge. It's cooking something. The game Cooks. train delivers high calorie protein rich snacks. Well, what, oh, snacks what if you need a meal? Food. What if you need a That's meal? A then you make one, I guess. I don't want to do that. It's not the target audience. Oh, I'm not the target audience, so for that reason I'm out. Well, he's missing out, guys. He is missing out and I'm very interested. What, what, profits, what profits are you expecting from this uh, company? So for say. every meter of the game train, we're expecting about a $300 production cost, which will mark up to $1,000. So to cover your whole house, you know, it actually works quite well because the richer you are, the more you can afford a very large gain train around the whole house. Ooh. But if you live in a small house, Equity. it's very affordable. Question. Is the dog shit local or overseas? I guess local. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. We'll probably find a large population of dogs and farm that. But just a concept wait, at this stage, wait, wait, that's wait. why I need your help. I think I'm out. What, what are you saying? Well, FBI I tell you what, I, I casually farm dog poo in my backyard. I just pick it up and what do I do with it? I throw it out. When I could be eating it to lose a few kilos. I don't understand how it helps you lose weight. <laughs> Good luck on this, buddy. Maybe you should be out, Jackson. Yeah. I maybe, it's, out. maybe it's too much for your small brain. Yeah, I think you had three investors the second you walked <laughs> out and you've made your way to zero. Guys, Brown. forget about the shame train. Let's I focus on the game train. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I am the scrawniest member and I'm willing to do anything, including eating dog shit. No, you're not. You're I, not. No, let him cook. I I'm need in. this. I'm in. I need I, this. I'm in. The oh. full amount. You don't even get to negotiate with a terrible idea. No, I need it. Are you oh, just gay it or are you shame? I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Thank you very much, Jordan. You won't regret it. I You're going to be so. buff. Can I just invest in Shame Train? That's I'm looking at about two million dollars to mm. get that one started. I'll do that. Don't do that. For what percent? Twelve. What? Yeah. what? Yeah. Got myself a bargain, boys. Did you just pay more for less? Yeah. And he paid for the dog shit. Pay more for less. Peter, what about the drain train? You got a full bladder? I am so fine. <laughs> Hello, Shark. How are you? Welcome. I want ten percent. No wait. You give me. $2 million and I'll give you 10%. $20 million company. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. Must be a good idea. Good math. What's the worst thing that can happen to you? Uh, get Torture. set on fire. Torture. Sorry. Balls What's like the apart. 900th worst thing that can happen to you? Eating dog pants? shit off oh, a conveyor belt that you bought. Oh, stubbing your toe. Getting a haircut you regret. Yeah! Yeah, this man's been there. <laughs> That's such a right roast. <laughs> That's such a roast. <laughs> the hair redo analyzer. What does it do? How does it work? Well, you pop it on your head after you get a bad haircut. Now, tell me, Zach, have you had a bad haircut before? You know I have. Answer. Hey, Jordan, have you had a bad haircut before? Nah, they're all all right. Outlier. What? He's an outlier. Most people have. Hey, Peter, have you had a bad haircut before? I have, actually. Yeah. Haircuts. A risky? Oh, this, I didn't animate this correctly. <laughs> what is the, what is this? <laughs> is that from Attack on Titan? I think it's a Titan. <laughs> it looks like that. Yeah, but it's Elvis. <laughs> Haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> a risky, intimidating, and un undoable. Look at this guy. Yeah. He was frowning, but I didn't have time to fix that. What? Can you just imagine that? I could, what, I could what kind of... What was the other haircut? What's the other haircut? This, this haircut. You, and then he so gets... So was he happy or yeah. sad about this? No, see, he was... <laughs> Look, look, this is kind of similar, and I'll be like, we have bad hair. Yeah, yeah, it's actually gonna do it. Oh, sad, sad, sad. And then, hair redo it, Eliza. You, oh. Don't you have a slide? Ding! Whoa. And he's happy. Do you understand how it works? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you didn't need a show. <laughs> I think we all got it. <laughs> right, so that's how it works. All right, that's a literal demonstration. It's time to take back what's ours. The right for a good haircut. Wow. And that's our tagline. That's powerful. Understanding the market. Now, do we understand the market? Yes, we do here at the Hair Redo Analyzer. Target audience is people like this bloke. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that when yeah. you did that. What happened here, Shark? Bad haircut. I bet you wish you had the Hair Redo Analyzer. You know what? I do because I went to the hairdresser. She didn't know how to fix it, so it all came off. What have we noticed with people who have used it? <laughs> Trend one, happier clients. They have more sexually active, and stronger erections, like this man here. Rock hard, baby. But sometimes people using the hair redo analyzer go a little bit strange. They have strange yet respectable behavior, 
and great outfits like this man here. The people can sometimes go a bit crazy when they get the hair redo analyzer, and we think that might be something to do with the brain being so near to the hair. What do you think? But you said you haven't invented it. <laughs> well, theorized. <laughs> <laughs> You've theorized that these trends will happen. Yeah, and we theorized that there could be problems with the product. <laughs> because of the hair brain. Because it's very close solid. to the brain, right? <laughs> Science sounds, checks out. Trend analysis. <laughs> These are all, there's no numbers here that make People sense. People feel more confident to get exploratory haircuts but when they is, have the trend. With I the one, what the yeah. fuck is this graph? So here. 20XX. Yeah, so it's a. 20 see, what? 20. XX. All the labels so are the same. When, when people use it, they're more likely to want to not change their haircut after a certain amount of time. How did you, you run here. all of these analytics with this fake product that you don't Again, know how it works yet? Well, we ran some tests. How <laughs> was we the ran question? Some tests. The theory, the theory is going over their heads. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm fully uh, I'm aware. This guy's of this. had I'm a Georgia haircut. Right. Sense. Here's our team. We've got me. We've got Ronnie Reader. We've got Avi Author and Barry Books. <laughs> There's a little descriptions there. Yep. Is this team real or is this still theoretical? We theorised this team. <laughs> this team is correct. Okay. It's not real, just Jay, yeah, yeah. This man here, he's real. Do you think it would be difficult to find a Berry Books to hire? Well, part of the reason actually we want the money is that we need someone specifically named Berry Books. So I'm praying we've got someone named Berry Books out there who's interested. So if you, might, if you guys know someone, mm. do you know a Berry Books, Peter? I mean, Shark? <clears throat> I know an Abby author though. Oh, brilliant. I hope you're on board. What haircut would you take back? I should have done this later, but here we are. So here's Albert Einstein. I bet you he wished he could have done a, a, a hair redo analyzer. Look at this didgeridoo, it's terrible. Jordan, would you read out the quote for me yeah, by Albert Einstein? I'd have probably got more shit sorted and invented more stuff if I had the hair redo analyzer, but in my day there wasn't one if I was aroused in- No, around. Around <laughs> in say, and I can't re- And, and I'm spitballing and here. And I'm spitballing here, 2023, I would have really been able to focus on invention, erect, Etc. Erection. Et Erection. I can't believe Albert Einstein was on board. He, well, I think he's wow. Known for his he was pretty. Yeah. Well, look, he has a terrible hairstyle. Oh. Don't be Albert. Yeah. Okay, guys. You don't want to be Albert and have a hairstyle and wish you could have done more in life. Yeah. Albert Einstein yeah, is the did, one person in history who has really wasted his. He did not achieve enough because of his hair. I reckon. <laughs> he was unders. Yeah. He was yeah, unders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Invest now. Who's in? Me. Have you thought at all at moving into other hair areas of the body? I'm thinking like beard. We did think about this, but we're concerned that it's so close to the teeth that it might affect the teeth in a bad way. Perhaps things we don't even understand yet. <laughs> you don't understand right, anything. So, we understand so quite a fair bit. So a lot of the $2 million is going towards like research and development. Yeah, like I said, we haven't done any research really. So right. this money could go into absolutely nothing <laughs> in a failed product. It won't fail. Uh, I, have a, I have a little bit of a gripe. You were trying to say that that Velja haircut was no good, right? In theory. We I, theorized that. I, I cut that hair. Um, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So you're saying that needs to be redone with your invention? Mm. But every hairdresser thinks the haircut they've done is I Yeah, think, and I, I think... did think it was shit. Okay, well that's your opinion, that's fine. I love your idea, mm. but it just goes against my past history, so for that reason I am out. But I good luck. realized that you would be out, but well, I think these two are in big time. Your theory has already proven bad, because I'm out, and that means that your no, theory well, is also it. bad that it probably won't work. So I I'm think out it will even work. more. It will work. I'm double out. Two out. Which is two outs equals an in. Oh shit. <laughs> Jackson? <laughs> Brilliant, man. Thanks for coming on board. Thank you very much. No. You won't regret it. Like your haircut, you won't regret it. I really wanted to invest. You, oh, we're looking for heaps of people. Well, I need I heaps feel, of money. I, I haven't built like... the thing yet. <laughs> you got got, man. First rule of business don't be good. out twice. Yeah, what an idiot. idiot. <laughs> Look, I'll put an extra million in, but I want. 15% of the company. You have 20. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Come and shake my hand, you beautiful bastard. Brilliant, mate. Welcome, Shark, and welcome to Peter's $100 billion idea that also solves depression. I am asking for $1 million for a 5% stake in my company. Now, every great idea That's begins big. with, of course, a problem. Now, social media is a huge problem in causing anxiety and depression in today's young people. Yep. So why is social media 
always making us so sad, like this guy. Well, people pick and choose to show the parts of their life that they think is worth showing, and so you really don't get a good idea of what people's lives are truly, truly like. Maybe if we understood the good and the bad of each other's day, then maybe we would have better mental health all around. Here we go. So what <laughs> if one day you could wake up and be a world famous DJ? You go to sleep, the next day you're an accountant, you're a bit more humble. Next day you're a busker on the street, the next day you're a doctor. Wow. Okay. This is Busy. all possible with my invention, this company called Change, the world's first randomized freelance boss. With Change, you sign up, put in your information, and you will be given a new different job every single day. That's sick. Completely randomized. No need to worry about quitting your current job because it will be getting filled by other people using the platform. So when you want to stop using change, just come back to your job. It's like nothing else has changed. Random people have been doing it for you. Totally fine. So the things change or it's like nothing's changed? Well, the change is that you have a new understanding of your life. Right. You now appreciate what you have. Not you only do you appreciate what you have, but you also now understand and appreciate what other people are doing for you. Oh. I'm just gonna show you guys how it works. So I've actually got an early build. Would anyone like to volunteer me, to be in change? Me, Ooh. Me, Ooh, me, 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 me. Fine, me, that's me, a lot of eager shots. All right, Zach, come no. on. Oh, are you serious? I was yelling out the most. Oh. All right, so I'm just gonna put your name Shark in. Shark out of water. Put your name in, <laughs> and I'm gonna put your Marco. job in. Shark. There's a category for that. Oh, nice. And we go through our list of already signed up users. There is an opening today for you to be an underdog's cameraman. Yeah! Thanks for signing up, Sophie. I know you're the only person signed up on the app so far. Also, Sophie, there's a spot for a shark now. So <laughs> this yeah, is there's good. a job opportunity. <laughs> just popped up. So oh, I see we change yeah. now. You, so right. Sophie, jump into the uh, shark chair there. Welcome, Thank you. shark. Welcome. Wow, I'm really ready for this job. It's already working. Any thoughts so far? Uh, I'm not fully ready for this position, but I know this app has got my back, so I'm ready to oh, sorry, go through wait. the process. No, say that again. I wasn't, I wasn't <laughs> pointing it at you. I don't know if this app's any <laughs> good. Oh, no, Zach's now understanding. It's not so easy. Maybe the camera's in a little bit of an awkward spot. He now understands Sophie's struggles as the oh, cameraman. Oh, I have empathy. But how does this work when you're a trash man and you're now a doctor who's killed a child? Next point. <laughs> <laughs> go on in the days of being rude to wait staff, because you've been there. Maybe yesterday. <laughs> go on the days are thinking that the celebrity influencers are way, way cooler and smarter than you, because you've been there. You know they're just as sad and lonely as I am. Jordan, what yeah. is a job that you've always wanted to try but never had the chance? Um, um, singer. Singer? What? I should have said that. On change, there is a statistically existent chance that you can be a famous singer. Wow. How about that? Awesome. How about that? When so I know what you're awesome. thinking. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. He does know what I'm thinking. I know what you're thinking. Awesome. You signed up for the app. We need a camera on Zach. He's doing it. This app's working. <laughs> But wait, there's more. Oh. Let me introduce Keep you. Keep it down, hey, cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do a video. I'm actually having a lot of fun. <laughs> He's appreciating the job. Why oh. stop there? Maybe you're sick of the people hanging around with you. Maybe you're sick of the people in the room with you right now. Oh, yeah. Maybe you're sick of going to the same bars and playing the same video games with the same stuff. I'm going to introduce you guys to our newest venture, Change Friends, where you simply just get a new group of friends each day. Sure. Is it like polyamory, but for friends? You're a bit of a friend slut, yeah. So do you think that this is possibly a terrible idea for friends? You currently cannot have any lasting connections as you are befriending strangers every day. You're meant to come back from change to your original friend group and be like, you guys were dope as hell. We do have a lot in common because oh. you've just been hanging around with a bunch of drop kicks that you really do have nothing in common with. Yeah. But it gives you a new appreciation of that. You don't know what you got till it's gone. Yeah. But why stop there? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Let me introduce what our research division has really been working on. This is still in the planning phase. Right. And this is Change Platinum. Change Platinum is that. where instead of changing job and friend group and even like house, you're going to wake up in someone else's body. Oh, Freaky Friday. 
that, Change Platinum. That song by Lil Dicky. <laughs> what is Freaky Friday? What? I've only heard of Change Platinum. <laughs> Using our Sorry, classified <laughs> brain teleportation uh, technology. Patent pending, of course. Yep. You've never seen someone living life like you've seen a grandma who's just been transformed into the body of a 22-year-old stud in Ibiza. They go, they go absolutely mental. <laughs> now, I know you're thinking, currently we have a slight problem. Uh-oh. The only people signing up for change right now are the people with kind of crappy jobs. Yeah, I was worried about this. Yeah. What I need the money for, what I need the million dollars for, is I am going to pay Kanye West a million dollars to join up on change for one month. Everyone's gonna join in for a chance of being Kanye for a day. We're gonna get billions of users just at a chance to be Kanye, Whoa. only for the small price of one million dollars. We're off the ground, we're making billions already. So who wants to make, oh, and we get rich. So when you change jobs with someone, do you change into them or you just go to their job? So you just go to their job at the moment with the current change. Yeah. Change Platinum is where you change into them with the brain we haven't teleportation technology. Patent's still pending. My now newfound access to being a millionaire and like this is my <laughs> job and role that I have to do. Yep. So Tesla. it's pretty good. Yeah. So are you worried that after this first month of you have Kanye, you have that money, you get a lot of people that over time, it just dwindles and it's only people trying to aim up. You know how I said earlier in the presentation, even the rich and successful famous seeming people also struggle with mental health and depression? Yeah. If you're them for a day, you're going to realize it's not that good. I think, <laughs> I think with uh, some more input, if I were to be in, like I would like to be in for a certain period of time because I think we could make some great changes. Yeah, but you can't do that. Hang on, hang on. Because you're not going to be a shark I've, tomorrow. I've just realized another problem because yeah, she's not going to be a shark tomorrow. So she takes this offer. Yes. It now alters Zach's life. Yes. And he has no say in it. Please do that. Wait, what the fuck? Please do yeah. that. How does no, this... and don't and don't make it a bad deal. Please invest. Please yeah. haggle. Can you keep quiet, please, cameraman? Yeah, you're really not doing the job. So I, your own best. I think I'm going to, you're hang asking on. for a million for 5%. Uh-huh. I'm thinking I will invest at least 1.5 million and Fantastic. I'm okay with 2.5%. See, so how does this work? Make now, it 10 million. Because now she's not Zach and then Zach the walks into this. Hey, case. cameraman, that's get, a good, not, that's get not, a good angle on this that's one, That's not me shaking get a good head. One this angle, that's cameraman. a girl. That's All not right, me. All right, thanks guys. No. Don't need to know if you're in because I just made more my money and more. <laughs> I'm leaving this the good. way he's I good. came in. Oh, he's not even asking. definitely a door. Hello, everyone. Hi. G'day. Hey. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hello, sharks. Hello. Is this that guy that did the dildo that cleans your teeth? Yeah, I use that every night. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was me, the dildo in the mouth guy. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You know what? I might invest right now. What? And I'm here with a new and even better invention that could save the world. What? A Bombs. Oh. Yep. <laughs> ah, ah, bad. Bad. True. Or oh, are they? Are oh. they? <laughs> <laughs> let's take a look at <laughs> the positive and negatives of bombs. Yeah, let's. You needed a stock photo for this? Could you just Kills make this? Shut up, no, shut a stock. Uh, yeah. They kill people. That's bad. That's, That's pretty bad. bad. Yeah, we can agree on that. They burn people. Yeah. They radiate people. You don't seem upset. They kill animals and vegetables, etc. Yeah. These are bad. These are bad. Yeah. But they do have some positives. No. They look cool when you see an explosion. Yeah. Only cool guys can look away, but everyone else, us mere mortals, we have to look. <laughs> they make money. How? I don't know Iron if you've Man, noticed, Tony Stark. but Oppenheimer has made $209 million worldwide. Wow. So imagine a world where we can get rid of these negatives and just have these positives. <laughs> Introducing... Oh no. It's coming. The Zen... No. <laughs> the Zen bomb. This bomb <laughs> will <laughs> create peace, calm and happiness. It will increase food production. What fruit is that? It I've never will seen that. reduce... <laughs> Often right. What a question! It will I, increase confidence. I think we need to save questions to the end, or we're gonna be here question, all day. Question, question. You've never eaten a kiwi fruit before, so why would you want to save them? Yeah, the questions will get explained later. <laughs>
Jackson, you re read this then. Read Somewhere it. needs help! EG, let's say Perth, Australia was starving to death due to North Korea nuking our allies, America, well, and the Chinese is... taking over the eastern states, leaving us totally helpless with a severe lack of resources, and we're sad. Mm -hmm. This is a very upbeat apocalypse <laughs> scenario. <laughs> this is just an example. We bomb Perth. <laughs> That is the solution. You get kicked out of this venue. <laughs> Wait, bomb. <laughs> <laughs> this is how the Zen bomb works. It's surrounded by a layer, layer one, which we'll get into, layer two, etc. What? Is that bar bar bomb? Bombs. Oh, my. Bombs. Oh, because it's a bomb. <laughs> this will create soft and smooth skin for everyone <laughs> wherever we drop this bomb. You just Very stop zen, bomb, I think. <laughs> I forgot we're in a public, the public venue. Yeah. Uh, it also contains essential oils, <laughs> which will reduce stress and anxiety for the people of, for example, Perth, who are in this war. Yeah. Inside the device, the Zen. Device. Inside the Zen device, part two. <laughs> <laughs> seeds! <laughs> seeds! This Zen device will explode and seeds will go everywhere, populating the area with food, fresh food for the people. You're distributing your seed across Perth. Yes. Right. And it's explosive. <laughs> <laughs> Part three. Orphans. What? You! So these babies are in layer three. To whom? Boom. They get spread out across Perth. I have several questions <laughs> about this. Research shows that there is a happiness bump that parents experience right after a baby is born. I can see you sort of cut off, but that tends to dissipate. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just <laughs> left it. <laughs> Picture this. Orphans everywhere. Alive? Alive. Yeah. Have they been shot out of a bomb? Now you're a parent. You come across an orphan, you become parent. That's not how it works. This is how it works. I, I believe you get, take it to an adoption agency. You get the happiness bump. So With up. all these babies around, people feel a greater sense of love. The endorphins, or however chemicals work, That's will be- That's why they're called endorphins. Because <laughs> <laughs> you end orphans. <laughs> the, <laughs> all right. The final, layer, the final layer. The final layer. Oh, thank God. Buddha. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Is> that <weed? laughs> That's next to the babies, the orphans. Yeah, but they're in separate layers, separate layers. Yeah, I'm sure that'll hold up when it explodes. Yeah. <laughs> this is straight facts from Quora.com. What would happen to be the result if everyone in the world smoked weed for a day? AKA, what would happen if we dropped the Zen device? If everyone were high on weed all the time, I truly believe, without any doubts, that the world would be an entirely better place to live. That's already one wow. fact right Who's there. Who's that from? That's from ZD. Some other facts coming out from the research. So a baby gets ripped from an orphanage, shot over Bob, and then they're blazed. Is that correct? Yes, and look at the benefits. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there might even be a peace deal or two signed. So these war-torn countries might even say, hey, we're getting attacked by North Korea. Drop a Zen device. And then Kim Jong-un, he's like, you know what? I might sign a peace deal. Kim Jong chill. Exactly, like. exactly. <laughs> Production cost for each bomb will be around $104,000. But the profits, $75 billion. Her who's bomb? Who's buying them? Are you in? <laughs> yes. What about any bath bomb debris and flammable essential oils? Would that not create still a big fireball? Quite similar to what I would call a regular bomb. Yes, but the the mm, the layer of orphans kind of surrounding it, wearing the hazmat suit. Oh, they cop the brunt of it. the brunt <laughs> okay. and absorb it, and then oh, if it's only the orphans, then, then I'm in. No, 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 and then they'll survive, and then cushioned orphans who won't hurt a hurt a soul will be launched. I might take a since I have so much money. I might take the ten million dollar risk. By the of, company. Yeah, and if we sell one, 75 billion, that's a pretty good, you know, risk reward there's for a clause, me. There's a clause, you can't do more than 49%. Jordan, take $10 billion, million dollars for your terrible idea. But I'm and gonna run. get seven yeah, and a half Then you don't, billion. you're not responsible for any war crimes. Why do you want to contain control? I have complete control? faith in my product. I want 
10 million for 49%. Yeah, that's way better than the original offer. You're an idiot. You are so <laughs> dumb. Did you drop a bomb on your head this morning? One of these bloody stupid bombs. <laughs> Didn't you say 10 million for 10%? No, you yeah, said one. No, I said one million. Oh, uh, either way, I'm making 75 billion in profit. Yeah, exactly. so you guys sit on the sidelines. You're going to jail. With